Good morning, everyone. Good morning, grade one. Good morning, lovely ones. Okay, uh, today uh, we will continue about two dimensional shapes. Okay, do you still remember what are the two dimensional shapes? What are they? They are circles, squares, rectangles, and triangles, and a trapezoid, right? Okay, before we start, I want you to have a scissor, uh, one scissors, and I want you to take a white paper and start drawing the two-dimensional shapes, all of them. I want you to draw the five two-dimensional shapes, okay? The five shapes you learned. Circle, triangle, squares, rectangles, and trapezoid. I want you to draw one for each shape, okay? One of each. Now, after you're done, I want you to cut them. Use the scissors to cut them, okay? When you're done, follow me. Go to page 653. Okay, I want you boys and girls to use the shapes you cut, okay? And then place the shapes that have four sides on the left fence. Here I have two fences, okay? The first one, it's here. This is the right one, the left one, sorry. And this is the right one. Okay. I want you to place the shapes that have four sides on the left fence, post. Then trace the shapes. Now I'm going to trace them now. Do we? Can I do it? Okay. You pose it and you do your work, then check for yourself. Okay? Then uh, when you go back to the video. I will draw it so. Squares has four sides. Uh, rectangle has four sides. And, oh, sorry. And the trapezoid has four sides. Okay. Now, the, I cannot draw triangles because it has a three sides. Now, I want you to place the shapes that have less than four vertices on the right fence post. Less than four, so it's three vertices, which is the triangle. It has three vertices, one, two, and then three, okay? But my smart, smart students, can you tell me if zero less than four or greater than four? Of course, it's less than four. So zero is following the circle. Do you still remember last lesson? Yes, miss, I do remember. Excellent. That's what I want to know. So this is the circle. It has zero vertices, so it's, it is circle, right? So I have a triangle and circles that both shapes have less than four vertices. So in this page, we classified or we sorted. What's the meaning of we classified or sorted? Sorted and classified means to put in a group, okay? I, I used the fences to make two groups, okay? The first group was for the shapes that has four sides. The second fence was for the shapes uh, that have uh, less than four vertices, okay? This is the first kind of sorting. I can sort the shapes in this way. Or go with me to page 654 to see other types of sorting. Here we go. Okay. Now, I want you all now to hold your pencils and start solving this page with me. You can compare and sort. What's the meaning of sort? Sort means 
to put any group or to take them together, okay? To put them together. Two-dimensional shapes. Okay, let's read the instructions under the shapes. They said, circle the shapes that have straight sides. Okay. Does this shape have a straight side? Look at the triangle. It has a three side. So it's yes, it has a three side. So I'm going to circle it. Just a trace. Then let's go to the circle in the middle. Does the circle have a straight side? No, we said it has zero sides, zero vertices. So no sides for the circle. Okay, no sides, zero sides. It's look like the circle. Zero looks like the circle. Okay, uh, it's not exactly, but it's somehow. Okay. Now let's look at the rectangle here. The rectangle has four sides. So uh, it has straight sides. So I'm going to circle it. Now I sorted or I put triangles, the triangle here and the rectangle together. I circled them both. Why? Because our instruction was straight sides. Okay, I want to circle the shapes that have straight sides. Now go to the next example. Circle the shapes with more than three vertices. More than three. Okay, I will see. Vertices means the corners. I will think corners or vertices, sides, not the sides. I want vertices. So um, the miss told us to circle the vertices. One. Two, three, and four. It has four vertices, so it's more than three. So I'm going to circle the square. Let's count. One, two, and three, and four. Oh, my God. Okay, so it's four vertices. Also, I'm going to circle the rectangle. Now, let's go to the triangle now and count the vertices. It's three. One, two, and three. Three vertices, so I'm not gonna put them with the uh, with, with the group because it has three vertices, not more than three. So I just put the square and the rectangles. Excellent, great job, guys. Let's go to the question now. Circle the shapes described. Let's read the instruction first. Shapes with four straight sides. Four straight sides let's count the sides one two three four four sides so circle it count again one two three oh sorry three and four so circle it count again oopsie this is a circle it's zero side so i'm not gonna circle it a uh, triangle it has one two and three, three sides. Can I circle it? No, they said there's four straight sides. Let's go to the last shape. One, two, three, and four. Can I circle it? Yes, sure, miss. Go ahead and circle it. Excellent. So it's now four sides. So how many shapes did I circle? Three shapes I circled. Why? Because these are three has four straight sides. Okay, the three have four straight sides. Now let's go to the second question. I want you now shapes to circle shapes with three vertices. Vertices, corners. Okay. Let's count the vertices. One, two, mm, three. Of course, circle the triangle, the first one. Let's go one, two, and three. So also we will circle this triangle. Let's see. Does the circle have vertices? No. Zero vertices, zero circles, zero sides, zero vertices. Remember it. Okay, let's count the third shape. The fourth one, sorry. One, two, and the three. Oh my God, it also has three cell vertices. Last one, which is the trapezoid. It has one, two, three, 
stand for? It has four vertices. I cannot circle it. It has more than three vertices. So I circled the three triangles. Go to the third question. Circle the shapes with four sides the same length. Four sides should be the, the same length. Okay, let us look at the first one. Look at the rectangle. The rectangle has four sides, but the side that is up and the side down, both sides are short. Well, you look at the side to the right and the side to the left. They, they're so long, so they are longer than the up and the bottom, the sides at the up, at the, yes, up and the bottom. Okay, so it has no same length. So I'm not going to circle the rectangle. Let us look at the purple square. We'll look at the purple square. Um, yes, look at it. Properly, yes, it has four sides. You can use the ruler to measure the sides. You put the zero and measure them. Now, let's go to the triangle. Triangle has three sides. So, um, I'm not going to look at their sides. I'm not going to see their length because it's just the three sides. And the question said four sides. Okay. Circle has no side, so also I'm not going to circle it. Let us look at the orange square. It has four sides, and they are all they're the same. They have the same length. So square, boys and girls, remember, the squares, all the, all the squares have the same length its sides of their sides okay always when you have square that means have the same length okay for the for its side it has same length for four sides let's go to question four shapes with the three sides and the three vertices which one yes tell me okay excellent now you're so smart to say it so fast it is the triangle Triangle has a three sides and three vertices. Let's make sure one, two, three sides and one and two and three. Then one, two and three. We used to draw a circle around the corner to decide that it is a vertex. So three vertices, three sides, only the triangle. Great, great, great. Put a small star. Up, down, and one up, and go to the next page. Solve the next page alone. Uh, please read the instructions very well. And I want you, when you're done with this page, to go to page 656. For 600. 56 together okay now I will read this question okay now Madeline sees these objects in her school how many of the objects have more than a three sides Okay, more than three sides. Let's see. The circle has no sides. The other circle has no sides. Okay, let's look at this clock. This clock, okay, it's from inside circle. It's a little bit tricky, but not for my smart students. It's from inside circle, but the shape of the frame, let's see, this is a square. It's square in shape. So how many sides? It's four sides. One, two, three, four sides. Let's go to the other frame. One, two, three, and four sides. Great. 
here one two and three and four four sides how many objects were uh were more than three sides three sides four one two three three objects has four sides which is three objects great job boys and girls thanks for listening and following wish you all doing great and i know you are doing great you are my super student see you later thank you so much